السلام علیکم آئی ایم سمبل زہرا لیکچرر ان فزکس ایٹ سر سید گورنمنٹ گرلس کالج ان اوور پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکس واٹ از دا ایکشن آف دا ٹرانزسٹر ناؤ ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی واٹ آر دا ڈفرینٹ اسٹیجز آف دا ٹرانزسٹر بٹ بفور دس آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو اکنالج اوور آنریبل پرنسپل پروفیسر خالدہ پروین فار ہر موٹیویشن اینڈ انکریجمنٹ تھرو آؤٹ Now let's coming to our topic that is transistor stages. When we start the transistor working, then there are different stages and we have to understand what are these stages of the working of the transistor. Stages of what? We are changing the input voltage. When we increase the input voltage, VBB as shown in the diagram, then current increases. When we increase VBB, then according to Kirchhoff's equation, VBB is equals to VBE plus IB into RI. RI is the input voltage, IB is the base current and VBE is the voltage across base and emitter. The voltage given by VBB is distributed into two parts as given by the diagram. One is current into resistance that is IB into RI then voltage VBE. So we add both these terms and we get the total value of VBB that is the input voltage. This is the equation of forward biasing. Now when we increase VBB then current goes on increasing so we can say that IB that is base current is directly proportional to VBB that is input voltage. This is the graph of the forward biasing which we have already discussed that after cutoff current increases and before cutoff there is no current. So now comes to the output. The output is due to IC that is collector current. This IC we have already discussed and explained that unless this depletion layer is finished, this IC can't start and who finished this, depl uh, this depletion layer? This external circuit of the forward biasing. And what is the indication that it has been finished? Answer is IB that is base current will be visible so unless IB starts, IC cannot start. So till IB is 0, IC is 0. So previous equation is the input equation of the transistor and now see the output equation which is VCC that is output voltage is equals to VCE that is collector to emitter voltage plus IC that is collector current into RC that is collector resistance. So VCC is first consumed in IC into RC then it comes to VCE so VCC is equals to VCE plus IC into RC. So this is the equation of the output. Now when VBB is equals to 0 how much is the current? Answer is when VBB is equals to 0 that is input voltage current is 0. When input current IB that is base current is 0, how much is collector current? So collector current is also 0 when base current is 0. So how much is the output voltage? Output voltage is VCE is equals to VCC that is output voltage is equals to collector to emitter voltage that is maximum. Electrons start running. Then IC starts. When IC starts, then this minus portion in equation has certain value. Then now VCE decreases as shown by your graph that from maximum it comes down. Then when we continuously increasing base current that is IB, then when base current is increasing, then collector current is also increasing. Then output voltage decreases as shown by your equation then when we are increasing base current continuously but what happens this saturation comes 
from here collector current increases increases and becomes saturated then it will not increase it goes to the highest level and it becomes saturated when ic becomes saturated this is the maximum value and it brings the minimum value of the output voltage that is your graph shows and after that we find there is no effect of input voltage now let's draw a graph between input voltage and output voltage that is vbb and vce so initially when v in that is input voltage is zero ib is zero because ib is zero so ic is equals to zero because ic is zero then vce is equals to vcc it has got maximum value so when we increase input voltage a little there is no change in base current it remains zero so ic is equals to zero and vce remains equals to vcc then when cut in situation comes ib starts means this depletion layer in forward bias is gone. when ic equals to zero that is collector current is zero then this is the cut off stage of the transistor when ic equals to maximum this is the saturation stage of the transistor and the middle one stage is called the active stage of the transistor so these are the three stages of the transistor that is cut off saturation and the middle one that is active region of the transistor when output voltage is responding means it changes with input voltage these are the three stages of the transistor if we have a transistor constructed in such a way that the active region is very thin that is middle portion then we have only two stages either it remains on or off means either either it is in cut off or in saturation these are the two stages of the transistor which we are utilizing with our remote you switch on your tv or switch off your tv with your remote so here when you when you switch it on or off with your remote is there anything which is moving answer is no normally our all the switches we make a contact we break a contact there is a mechanical action that is toggle action making a contact that is on or leaving a contact means off this is done everywhere but in electronic circuit we are using this solid state switch in this there is no mechanical part which is moving and if there is no mechanical part which is moving the life will be a phenomena that is why in electronic switches if you in your if your tv on or off you are doing for thousand of turns means thousand of times there will be no problem and the switch keeps working because there is no mechanical part in this and the switch keeps working if we make a transistor when there is an active part quite wide there there we use for amplifier now in our next lecture we will use transistor as an amplifier and see how it works as an amplifier right so that's all for today thank you so much